We're bringing you team coverage this evening on the developing situation going on in the Middle East as Israel retaliates in Gaza for the deadly surprise attacks by Hamas that killed more than 900 Israelis and more than 500 Palestinians. We'll have more on that with team coverage coming up. And Massachusetts lawmakers are looking to change the state's firearms laws following a string of gun violence across the state in the last several months. We're getting okay. answers on their efforts coming up. And it looks like a mainly quiet week weather-wise on the cooler side. And we may, again, have some rain coming in by the weekends. We'll talk about it. My first alert forecast. We turn now to our team coverage on the situation going on in the Middle East. Israel at war. Thank you for joining us on this Monday. Welcome to Western Mass News at 4. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnavali. It's a conflict not seen in the region in 50 years. And an Israeli prime minister is warning their counteroffensive has begun. Western Mass News correspondent Inez de la Katara has the latest from Tel Aviv. <laughs> Massive blasts rocking the Gaza Strip, with Israel Defense Forces continuing their barrage, huge plumes of black smoke filling the sky. Israeli officials saying in just a three-hour span Monday, they struck 130 targets in the area, saying they will continue to fight Hamas terrorists as long as necessary for the sake of the residents of the state of Israel. They also plan to blockade Gaza, keeping fuel, food, and electricity out. This mosque in Gaza also hit by Israeli strikes. Palestinians seen crying as the injured are rushed to the hospital. Assault comes after the militant group Hamas launched a surprise assault.